Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Rahala. Did you see that kind of hammer zero to death? It was so ridiculous. Camera combo. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, yo. This is a dominant. It's like, oh my god, what a dominant play for. He was just looking for one hit and then uh, dash out to the rest of the string. Kind of just hit a button. Yeah. It, I'm, I'm down to hit a button. Really effective strategy. Waking up kind of similarly into the like the, the scythe matchup where waking up is a big part of having effective defense. And we get a nice little dodge read right there. Use waiting. Kind of not burning the dodge button. But Yu says, I'll keep pressing attack. Ooh, combos in and gets the recovery afterwards. Yu's making West Coast custom combo. This looks like I a combo it. weapon at the moment. Trying to go for the oh, GC no. and sync. Oh, oh god. No. Oh god, there oh, it is. No. Don't <laughs> bring him to Demon Island. Don't bring him to Demon Island. Island, do not do it. Why do people do it? I don't understand anything, but man, Impala's really, I mean, uh, Akno's really brought it back here on Impala. This is a whole new uh, definition for- No! Oh, wow, oh, he's going crazy with this, this guy. Can anyone stop him? Okay, finally gets disarmed. Maybe this is Impala's chance to claim this stock oh, to bring it closer. Then. Okay, Akno oh, wants his way back up. He's going no. for the finish. He's going for care. the three stock. He's actually, no way, no way you three stock Impala on the stage right now. No oh, way! He does no it! Way. He does no it! Way. Annihilation! Annihil the hammer as well. Clubs. Lots of missed attacks. So Jesse are some crazy options Ooh, coming okay. out on the hammer. And he's oh, okay. it Impala's spear is on another level. Oh, we don't triple, triple, let's go! Yeah. Oh, it works dude, once, the it works full twice. Triple. Oh, no. get it again. Okay, 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 that okay, okay, okay. I mean, he didn't, look at that. He's going, he's popping off. He's absolutely tied up the game. After such a strong oh. start from Agno, he's tied up the game. I know he missed that triple. You're oh, oh my God. It, it's going to be rough. It's going to be, a. Hey. <laughs> Did he, though? Because hey. Fakey is still putting the pressure. He's, he's hitting those stairs now. Hey. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> ah. Paula believer. But Skeldra is ahead in the set count by one. Oh, Skeldred. Okay, when I see, when you see that great sword just start connecting, it's it just scary. doesn't stop. It's scary. It's scary. Here it is. Oh, oh. My, dude. Oh my gosh, that's so smooth. Oh. No! no oh. He does it to him. Oh. He goes. It's kind of doing what you do with gauntlets when you hit the side light. Whether you do the GC side light, same direction. GC side light. Use. Oh, the four piece coming out from Use. Not able to quite punish the landing. There we're seeing the side light into the turnaround. Neutral light. The variation. Always keeping it. Use. Of guessing. Does it turn it around? This man. Keeps it going the same direction and gets the KO off of it. I'm telling you, Use makes great sword. No. Look Look easier than it is. Not again. Use oh, is going for it again. It picks up another dodge read. Not like this use. And oh, another my one. Gosh. There's no stopping this man. He said, hold up. Last game was close. Let's change that for our match point. I want to call out like what he's doing, but then all of a sudden he starts doing something else. One and minute I can't keep and up. 23 seconds. And now Fiend finally able to get the whip punish, putting him into the Katalia's blender, dealing so much damage now, and now putting Impala off stage in a bit of a nasty position for just a second. The main thing is also like, not only is the neutral. The gesture on Axe is a sight to behold. It was too slow to be able to put on that ground pound. But well, that down tick was amazing. Double there, double dare though. That's a ton of damage. And that down light will bring Maid into orange right away. Wait, it's, it's actually totally easy. Oh, side light, nair, nair. Oh, that's just it. Taros with the down tick. No way. There is a reason Magdi runs from Godly. Magdi. Nice. Oh, okay. Looking for a lot right there with that side air. If he had happened to jump, though, that could have been something. Man, Godly is absolutely running away with this last stock, though. Meg D might have been gassed out right now. That's what it looks like. Went for the YI auto, but no one home for it. Oh! oh! <laughs> uh, I don't know who selected the map here. I, I imagine as a great sword player, you don't want soft platforms. You just want lots of regular platforms. But uh, Skeldra definitely uh, left it open. Okay. Um, and Kaiser picked it. Okay. Oh, what? I just oh, oh, that was finish. nasty. Wow. That, I mean, that spear mirror match lining up in the set. And I think that's actually, I mean, Wuxian, another one of those characters, I feel like it's just never been bad. Like, these are just good weapons. And you got the you got the gauntlet, you got the spear. Uh, oh, you get getting oh, pieced up right now. The dodge that was a perfect. Luna did not struggle at all. Somehow right here. It's not over. This is, this is a major BCX moment for Athena here, and I can't wait to see what Athena has for the rest of this set. And uh, Luna, you know, might struggle a little bit here. Okay, on this final stock, we're seeing things change gets the huge guitar read almost got the turnaround down air oh the God. gc side light as well and the neutral signature to call out the spot dodge gets the weapon keeping it another weapon the d light into the For a weapon drop fiend keeping him off of it nope we're gonna go lock that uh, uh orb up we just need a good side light sare and uh put rage right back Ooh. in this but fiend is all over my man i love the patience on oh. that reset 
Oh, oh my goodness. Well, proud man, he is definitely finding the hits on his sigs. He, uh, the down sigs have been hitting, the neutral sigs have been hitting. I mean, he's just, just go ahead and finish it off. Find yourself a side sig somewhere in here, man. Here we go. Ogos is starting to come through now, too. It looks like Stingray feeling really good about himself. Gonna miss out on side light, but it doesn't matter. He finds a D light anyways. Here's another follow up side air. That's three hits in a row for him. Four. Web toss up looking to try and carry him all the way off the top. Yes, it is not looking great for Boomy here. Gonna lose his weapon to the weapon toss here, and now maybe the weapon toss down. No, doesn't he? He's gonna keep a weapon in hand just so he can get the down air and then the finish. Fiend is on this Queen Eye for the guitars. Straight up. I mean, that's just, that's all he's playing. We're seeing some pressure now. Unarmed. Hey. Gonna get over. Now, how quick does he get rid of the spear? Nope, down. So gonna go ahead and come out. He's looking for another one. Hey, okay. Yo, yo, did you see how his movement changed? In the left, not yet seen the depths of this man's crazy plays, and uh, maybe a player like Akko could be the one to push him to the brink where he needs to pull everything out of the pocket and come out ahead. So far, he's doing quite well here. He's got oh, the lead, dude, dealing with damage on the second stock. He's falling farther and farther behind as Impala just keeps finding ways to open him up in neutral. Now Akno without a gravity. Mm. Oh my! He that earned his dodge on the gravity cancel. Impala nearly got him there, but look at the damage. He's practically two stocks ahead. He's done it. Two stocks ahead. The former world champion show he's fighting back quite well. Two nares in a row. Gets that side light. Boomy dodges all that down light neutral light follow up that could have happened. But this has actually been all flower here on the second stock. Now the down six are starting to Oh, that to was good. Low. That's exactly what you needed to do. You set them up. You force out the resources. And then you're able to cover the landing on the way back down. Flower is dealing a lot of damage and is starting to make quite the cutback. Toss it. How are you feeling? Oh, I mean, that side six is telling me how I'm feeling. That just that might as well have been a zero to knock up. Ina barely misses that side light and gets punished just a little bit for it. This is a side light, but does find a neutral air onto kind of another neutral air side light recovery. Not going to put him off screen in that second recovery. Not going to connect. Down six. That was an incredibly intense game. To secure the knockout before Nies can do much, but it's a little too late here. Nies is finding unanswered hits. That's going to be a punish. No, goes for the juiciest punish he can get, but just a little bit too slow. Oh, 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 oh man. Wow. wow. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> like just watch your neck, bro. Okay, Ooh. he's uh, sh uh, shut that fire up for sure with the with the neutral sig. Like to see it. Abel got able to get himself back on stage and oh. some good damage. We oh. are swinging. Akno is swinging and knees is definitely capitalizing. I have no time to waste. I want to win. That's what Golly says. Out on the Rayman, and then we got Meg D pulling out the valve. Let's see how this one plays out. Okay, Godly already with that Rayman has that axe. Megby, of course, on the patented battle. Definitely excited about that new meditative, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. But trying to see just how this intense neutral, as we like to call it, is going to shape out here. I mean, Megby loves playing that neutral. I will say, though, I mean, I feel like as of watching, oh, wow. Continuing with it, nice double nair on a sandstorm. Going to keep him up in the air. Looking for a third one, can't get it. Oh, nice, a nice signature from Sandstorm. Nice dodge through, and gonna put some damage on Yuse. And he's back to neutral, trying to figure out an opening here. Sandstorm reaching over with the side light. Yuse right there to stop him on the edge. Not enough momentum to take him to the right side of APOC. Sandstorm gonna come over, set back down. Thought Yuse might go up in the air. He did not. Gonna set oh, here baby. on the edge. Got the, got it, got it. Sit him out and in there. And uh, knocking that stock off of Pugsy and evening things right back up. That wake up was clean, bro. Like that was, I was a wake up for the ages. Uh, 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 uh. Where you think you going? Come here. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Hold some of that. I'm still here. Uh. Okay, missed in there. Take a nap during that combo, bro. I swear, it seems to go on forever. Scotty dodging his way back up on stage. A great movement. Pugsy trying to go on top of him with a dare, but nothing to be found. Kind of got caught up with that uh, ledge there a little bit. Ooh, nasty Sarah off the spear. Looking for another one. Pugsy's had options. Godly didn't go down for the punish. He went ahead and recovered back up. Got on stage. He's gonna set back up here in neutral. Yes, oh, sir. God. Scound a swift breeze can come through Demon Island, and it's gonna be the end of his game. Oh, you ain't lying. You ain't lying. Rain falls too hard. Right. It doesn't matter. Better not hail out there. <laughs> All right. Gonna go for the recovery. Does not catch. Uh, uh uh. Hey, hold up now, Scound. Down. <laughs> he just goes right back to reset, bro. <laughs> uh. He just went right back to reset. He just did the same thing three times in a row. Costlix just jumped right back into it every single time. Uh, Costlix, I need you to do something. Oh uh, my goodness! He wanted to start this set by any means. He is now down a full stock on his last stock, and he's continuously still playing that like I have to run away game. Godly has been on full attack mode, and Meg D has not been able to play the uh, evasion mode. Oh wait, is that gonna be enough? 
Yes, it is good stuff. Sandstorm is trolling Blaze. Oh my gosh. Oh my oh. gosh. Okay, he has Sandstorm. Oh my god. And now he's already, he's already got the boost prime too if he ends up losing these. I mean, you saw the way he was going for the weapon tosses to make sure he can prime those next boots. Uh oh. Oh, bro. Leg drop. Okay, almost got the throw. It doesn't matter though. He's so one of the, that's of course one of the best stages in generals for Lance because all you got to do is go horizontal. And you have so much to cover, so easy to cover that side of stage two. And you're one of the few legends that doesn't have to worry so much about peeing pressure there because you have so much time on that recovery. Uh oh, dropped the Lance though, unfortunately. And now there's going to be a straight up axe fight. Next on competition, the Vikings are out. Ooh. A little left to right game. And sometimes it is that simple, right? The adjustments yeah. you have to make don't have to be major all the time. It could be as simple as where we fight on the stage. Well, speaking of where we fighting on the stage right now, that was a, a large start right there for uh, kind of almost turned that into some, some uh, crazy amount of damage. But luckily, you was able to get back with that recovery. Nice. Okay. Yeah, he's starting to find some. That would have been a great uh, side air. Would have put used in a terrible spot. Oh. However, unarmed him with that and now just trying to mark him looking for a way to finish this stock off that recovery wow. would have been great and what, again the first thing that should have been banned to be completely honest but <laughs> see what he can do with miami dome the best music in the game but also just uh, like the, the platform placement is uh, it's, it's really unique it's like a, you know it's a triplat but it's slightly higher yeah. than uh, like normal triplats so. or uh biplat sorry it's great for uh for axe too because you can go out there you can catch the tail end of recovery you could charge ground pound and try to go for an extended pressure but also you don't have to worry so much about the nares uh, in terms of like gameplay territories a meg d is all about that neutral if there is that like pentagon of different like stats yes. that you can put into meg d like purely puts in to the neutral stat we're going to see here how Delta is going to be able to respond. Finally, some strings coming out from Megby. That's another one. Gets it on the dodge as well. Guaranteed Ooh. three hit in the Kobe from... Yeah, I mean, he got the blood flowing. The, the brain power is, is on now. Like, I don't know what's going on. I mean, the, the stage uh, scenery has changed well, too. So very smart for him to finally get off of uh, Demon Island and then play on a stage with us. Uh, soft class so he can, that he can work with. And said, on top of that, you know, not allowing Costalus to, to live in it at home. All, all I'm figuring out now is that uh, the Miami Dome music is on his gym playlist. That's, a, that's what we find it out. He's getting warmed up. And also, these soft platforms uh, uh, back on the game. Like, he actually has been navigating around Lance better. And not only that, but he's easy with this axe, especially. I mean, we've been saying it over and over again. Kaina's axe has looked so immaculate all weekend, all year. Honestly, I mean, look at the dash back on that to turn around neutral. And I've always said he breaks the game down to the simplest of form. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. I was like, hold on, man. Where are you going to go? We're going to see a recovery coming out. He's trying to line it up. Oh. <laughs> nice. They both, yeah, both freeze in the air right there. Oh, but the down light on the soft platform. Here, breaking up Akno's momentum. He avoids what certainly would have been killing blows. Again. Oh. Off the side. Oh, I go. Dude. I believe. It's going to work. One it's going to work, days. dude. going to work, dude. He's got to keep going for it. He's just got to, yeah, eventually. You have to. Oh, there it is. Oh, Akno just took the. What a clean spear is zero to death. First stock. No, I'm taking notes myself. I mean, golly, I mean, I guess that's just a tech. Just do not let your opponent play the game. I guess, so, you know what? I think that does sound like it would work. That's what I need to start doing. Just not let my opponent play. Because Godly is absolutely all over him, catching everything Pugsy tries to do. Oh, he oh, got it. He's not getting back. No. He's not getting back. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're going to switch things up. We're going to bring the hammer into the mix of it here. So, uh, actually, no, we're not. We're going to immediately... <laughs> He said, I want this damn thing get out of my face. This, this for Coslis is, a, okay, if he would have let that thing rip and it hit, this is a cheeser pick. This character has a lot of force and exactly what I was kind of expecting to see. I mean, you know what? If it works out, great, especially with this switch up to Small Brawl Haven, like, mm -hmm. you might be able to sneak out some early ones, and that's exactly what he got. As always, and let's see how it goes. Look at Boomy, excellent D-Light pickup. Now just going to be holding on to the stage. Flowey going to be stuck off stage without a weapon. Boomy going to be starting them of a weapon and continuing to do so, dealing a lot of damage. And then, Whoa. oh, okay. Always got to chump Sorry. check with the fully charged down stick at the very beginning, right? You let the signature rip, and you're like, oh, that's not going to hit. You can hold it, and because of the properties there, it hits on the, the left or right side. Sometimes players just like to fall right into it. But there we see the start of what could have been a great setup with that neutral signature if Boomy didn't get right underneath, get the double D-Light into the recovery, and take the first stock. Yeah, I'll give you a fantastic opening for Boomy. Just did not seem to be two phase two through that, that entire first stock. Flowey now just going to be dancing to pick up a weapon. He gets that bow on hand. Okay, not able to find any of these neutral lights. Whoa. Boomy running off stage, wants to close out that stock. 
so early. We're getting finding a down and so aggressive out there. Oh, and Flower tries to go for the wake up right ground pound off of Boomy and Boomy has XJ Cool J in the orange. XJ though doing a good job of getting these hits here and there without taking any damage that are slowly bringing him back to the game. Here we go already Fry in the yellow without dealing any damage. That side light is the first hit Fry has gotten since being sent down to this final stock and XJ still tacking on extra damage. Oh, Fry almost had the tech chase there, but it wasn't enough. XJ is bringing himself back. He's trying to go for these reads, but the stars are just not aligning for him right now. And XJ Cool J keeps building up more and more damage onto Fry. Side C comes out. Oh. XJ Cool J with the side. Weapon throw coming out, leaving him unarmed now. Snowy trying to get over, um, try and get him off that weapon, but we're near though. Racket up at this a spear, a string. Oh, Snowy trying to get that uh, in, uh, that nair over the corner. Monir staying out of the way of it though. Dare over the top of the head. The pogo weapon throw. Grab it and cancel. D light. Here's a five second start. I said I got a clock in the overtime. I got it. Okay, don't worry. I always got you. Change. <laughs> So last game was very spear heavy for Impala. 337 damage compared to the 164 that he did on the bow. Oh, the unarmed went some damage. Didn't quite get the ground pound follow up off of the D light. Still at relatively low damage, so I don't know if that would have led to the immediate KO into the blast zone. Nice GC D light to get back on the stage at that perfect angle. Oh, and Sig nice. and Impala stays low. Down Sig to count. Scrapping and dapping. He's just like him. He plays just like that oh. man. Look at him whirling around. Nice down light. Coming out there, trying to make a play here. Nice dodge, but he didn't catch it before he touched the ground. So you should be able to make it back unless the edge guard is a Matt Clint. There, and that's going to cost him the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to submit clips, make sure to submit them in our Discord or our Reddit, our side, Charlie Dosa Brahala. Make sure to subscribe. See you later.